Three Kingdoms fans, what's up? It's Barry Parker here. Uh, seems the big PvE struggle right now is getting past uh, the general plot fives, the ones with the red generals and some of the orange generals. So here's some screen capture video of me going through some of these. Uh, you'll see that I'm rocking three wines to get past it. Uh, for a while it was taking me four, but I'm able to do it with three this time. Uh, using pretty much the same basic strategy going through all the time. Uh, single Breath and Tauros are the two stratagems that I'm working with here. Uh, I've got my skill room nearly maxed out for my level. That's a very, very helpful thing. And you might have also noticed on the screenshot at the beginning that I have this squad garrisoned. And uh, the reason for doing that is I have city tech, uh, if you're fortunate enough to have it, that will give you a bonus to defense. Uh, now, I've heard people mention that that does not affect plot mode. Uh, however, it seems to help me win, uh, whether it's all in my head or the game mechanics actually allow it. So uh, as we go through these videos, you'll notice I'm using pretty much the same basic strategy for all of these. We're going to uh, always start off by getting Zhao Yun's uh, rage going. Uh, I will always use my healer's rage as soon as it's available. Uh, I keep everything on manual until the third wave uh, so I can save my stratagems for then. Uh, if uh, Zhang Zhao ever has uh, a rage available when a wave is close to ending, I will save his rage since he does a damage over time effect until the next wave. And uh, other than that, every once in a while I have to swap some generals around, uh, you know, so that I can get an infantry lined up with a spearman or get a cavalry lined up against an infantry and have it work in my favor. Uh, other than that, it's it's really just the same basic strategy. And these five wins that you're going to watch here uh, took me, I don't know, maybe 20 attempts. So uh, there's definitely an RNG factor that you've got to bank on there. Um, my squad, I think at this point, was at 304,000 BR. So, uh, you know, they're not consistently winning these battles, but it's definitely worth being able to go through and fight them uh, and get those extra maps for building treasures. One of the big things that you'll want to focus on is watching your opponent's rage meters, the green rage meters, and trying to get off your Tauros before their rage fills up because if you can get them to use their own specials against themselves that's going to make these victories a whole lot easier for you uh, that's also where the rng factor plays in the most is uh, you know sometimes tauros works sometimes it doesn't uh, in this particular video i think i have single breath and tauros both at level 13 so that one certainly helps i've got a an attack boosting treasure, the bombing knocker, equipped on Zhao Yun, and uh, he seems to be doing pretty well winning these duels because of that. Uh, this one was kind of a fun battle just because it came so close to the wire down there. Um, I've seen a few where they were a little bit ahead of me and I was actually able to come back, so I would advise people, uh, you know, don't quit. See it through to the end of the battle and see how it works out in your favor. This guy, this one took me so many attempts to beat. Um, I don't know what it is, man. I guess maybe it's uh, his special attack, but it was just, it was so hard. I think this one took me eight attempts, and I, you know, I didn't expect that because he was an orange general. All the other ones were red. But, uh, man, I had a really tough time with him. So kudos to those of you out there that are buying this character and getting him in your squad because he was insanely tough to beat. Did not have an easy time with it at all. Uh, if you are using wines to beat these, whether it's uh, the fifth level on general plots or any of the ones before that, I would highly advise using your wine close enough to server reset so that you can try to get uh, one of the eight-hour wine blocks to work for beating 10 of the plots instead of just five. You know, if you do it close enough to server reset, you can get your five wins and then at midnight it flips over and then you get five more wins before the wine runs out. You'll have to excuse the text I got from my fiance there. <laughs> I was doing this from work. And uh, I'm really hoping to get some video of Lubu next time. Uh, sorry this video doesn't include 
uh, a battle against Lubu. Uh, I'll try to put that one where I drop the speed down to 1x so you can watch what he's got going on. Uh, of the battles that are featured here, the two that gave me the most trouble were, uh, forgive my pronunciation, but uh, Jaiju and Lu Bei. Those were the two that I really had to do a lot of restarts on to get them to work. Um, Sun Jian, I never had trouble with. I think I've always beaten him on the first try. He might be one of those that um, I'm capable of beating without wine. So you'll eventually get to that point too. I'm looking forward to it. Not that using the wine is troublesome for any reason. It's just, uh, I don't know, it feels good to be able to do it without the extra boost. But yeah, man, definitely uh, definitely want to push your squads. Definitely want to try to get up there to where you're beating those uh, those general fives as quick as you can. Um, I mean, don't stress about it, but it's, it's certainly one of the things that you want to push for. Uh, upgrade your town halls so you can get those extra appointment boosts. Uh, keep pushing all your skills that are battle related. They're a really big help. And, uh, and make sure you have weapons equipped. Uh, you notice I've got all orange weapons on my squad. It seemed to help us get that extra BR that we needed to be able to win in these. And then, of course, uh, I, you know, I mentioned it earlier, but RNG is a, a pretty big factor here. If you've got um, a few attempts that are giving you trouble, uh, you might have noticed I switch around my front line a little bit uh, and just kind of tinker around with it. Don't get impatient. Don't lose your patience with it. Again, notice that I leave Zhang Zhao's Rage, and then I start it off at the beginning of the next wave. Everybody else, I generally try to use their Rage right as soon as it's available. Um, if they've only got like less than 30% left, I'll save some Rage so that I can go into the third wave with an extra boost. Otherwise, it's really just all about timing that Tauros attack so that they use their rage on each other instead of on you. I'm trying to remember if this is the one where it really came down to the wire. I know there was one of these where uh, me and Zuji Lang, I mean, we were just like slivers of health left. I think I must have beat him with maybe 300 troops alive. It was insanely close. You'll forgive me for uh, skipping all the duels. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, man. I've really been digging the general plots. Um, I like that they've been able to add another facet to the game. I'm looking forward to a lot more. I really want to fight dragons. Um, so I don't know if you know somebody out there. Tell them that Barry wants to fight some dragons. Get that in there. An arena system would be fun, too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Cheers.